Tube. My name is Becca and this is Shadow <laughs> and you have reached Sambri Stitches here on Floss Tube. Uh, you can also find me on TikTok and Instagram, Facebook, um, and I'm on threads but I don't really post on threads under Sambri Stitches as well. And I am also a cross stitch designer and you can find my designs in PDF format on Sambri Designs on Etsy. Um, or you can order paper charts from your favorite uh, cross stitch shop. They can order directly from me or through Hoffman Yarn Tree or now ICG Crafts because I've partnered with them. I'm super excited for the new partnership. If you are new here, welcome. This is a channel about cross stitch and my designing journey. Um, it's been about three weeks since I've posted. So if you are not subscribed, I would appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button or double check to make sure that you're subscribed. Hit the like and the bell because I used to be pretty consistent, but now that I'm designing and health stuff and all that other stuff, I'm not as consistent. So that bell will let you know when I uh, upload a video. And welcome back to my returning subscribers. I appreciate each and every one of you for being so supportive and for everyone taking the time out of your day to spend with me because there are so many floss tubers and there's new ones every day. It's it, The community is just growing. So I appreciate you sticking with me and spending some time with me. Um, So I have my iPad down here with notes. I don't have a table in front of me today. I'm in my backyard. Um, so I'm going to be looking down at this, but there are a, a few announcements and stuff that I want to get out of the way. And then I have only three whips um, because I've been working on a model, which I'm going to give you all a sneak peek of the model that I think I'm going to release at the end of June on my 26th wedding anniversary. Um, I've been doing sneak peeks on social media, so I figured it's only fair that y'all get to see it here on FlossTube too. Um, and then I will be doing, uh, or I'll be sharing with you my spring decor. It's a smaller little display down by my door. So I'm going to pop that in here as well. So um, a few announcements. The first one is huge. Next week on April 22nd, my husband and I are flying to Midland, Michigan uh, to spend time with his family. There'll be a life update at the end. Um, things took a turn for the worse for my brother-in-law. So the timing of our trip is, is pretty good. Um, so I have set up three meet and greets in Michigan. So if you are in that area, I would love to see y'all. Uh, I did post it all over social media and in the community tab here on my channel is a screenshot of the meet and greets. Um, but if you haven't seen it, I'm going to be at the Stitching Well in Bay City on Tuesday, uh, April 23rd at 10 a.m. And my older daughter, Samantha, her and her new husband are driving down from Canada. So she will be at the meet and greets with me. She's also a cross stitch, uh, cross stitcher. And she recently painted a beautiful watercolor painting that I am attempting to turn into cross stitch pattern so it's pretty exciting so she's going to be with me at the meet and greets um the next one is stitch in time in Saginaw Michigan um on that Tuesday April 23rd at 1 p.m so stitching well I'll probably be there from 10 to 12 and then stitch in time is like 1 to 3 um and stitch and I stitch in time in Saginaw is opening 
uh, special hours on Tuesday. They'll be open one to five for people to come shop. And then on Wednesday, April 24th, I'll be down at Stitching Bits and Bobs in Plainwell, Michigan with Bobby doing a meet and greet and that starts at 2.30. So I'll be there for a couple hours as well. So I hope that y'all can make it to one of the shops. I am excited because, <coughs> excuse me, if I sound out of breath or whatever, it's I've been sick. I spent all day in bed yesterday resting so that I could feel well enough to get a recording out before we leave for Michigan. Um, so apologize for that. But um, I'm excited because I have never been to any other cross stitch shop besides the two here in Washington, which both are absolutely amazing. But I am always so, so jealous of people who get to go to other cross stitch shops and just experience, you know, the the different goodies that they have in there. So I get to go to three in Michigan. So I'm super excited. Um, the uh, next announcement is uh, my Nashville releases. All of them are now available in PDF form, even my exclusives um, in my Etsy shop, which is Sambri Designs. PDFs are also available with Carla at Cobweb Corner. She has been so supportive from day one and she's such an amazing friend. I just truly appreciate her. And then Fat Quarter Shop will be getting up the PDF soon. Uh, they're backlogged a little bit, so, but they'll be coming. And as I mentioned at the beginning, I am now partnered with ICG Crafts. So if your cross stitch shop orders from them, they can now get all of my paper charts directly through ICG as well as Hoffman and Yard Tree. So I'm super excited for that. Getting my designs into more shops is just the coolest thing ever. Um, speaking of my designs, it blows my mind and just fills my soul with so much love to see y'all stitching my designs it, it it's so surreal to see on social media somebody just stitching my design um if you would like me to share it here on my channel uh, if you want to just email me my email will be in the drop down box below i will gladly share it if you want to send any details um about it i would love to to share your work here on my channel it just means so much to me that y'all are so supportive and it's really picking up now where I can, where I see more of my designs uh, on social media. It's just, it's crazy. It's just the coolest thing. So if you do want me to share it, just send me an email with the picture and, and some information and let me know if it's okay to say your name and I will gladly share it. The other thing is I have a link tree um, in the drop down box and that will take you to a whole bunch of different links. Uh, to my various social media sites and, and that kind of thing. Um, but there's also a tip jar and I don't normally touch on this, but um, a couple of people have asked me why I'm not posting to buy me a coffee anymore. Um, the tip jar is just something where you could donate a few dollars. It'll go towards shipping or buying me a coffee or whatever, um, but it'll be in my link tree link as well. So just wanted to touch on that really quick. Another exciting announcement is my good friend Daylene who is so grateful. She is a beacon of light in our community. We have a few beacons of light in our community and she is one of them. Um, she's a good friend. She is an incredible stitcher. Um, she is wise and loving and caring. Um, she on top of all of that is now an author. <laughs> so her book, I'm going to show you a picture. Sorry, there's so much pollen in the air. It's already coated my iPad. It's called um, Practical Hope. And that's available in uh, Amazon or on Amazon. And I'll just lead you, read you a little synopsis. I can't even talk. Synopsis. Did not sleep well last night. My poor husband took the blow dryer thingy, whatever you call it, to our driveway to clear off the pine needles and that kicked up his allergies and he had a rough night last night, which means I had a rough night last night. <laughs> Anyways, her book is about discovering the power of hope and the courage to make life changes in practical hope. This book will show you how to break free from toxic chemicals and create a strong and vital immune system. And there's a whole bunch more information on um, the Amazon 
uh, listing as well. So congratulations, Daylene. You are incredible. And I hope that your book blows up and that you continue writing um, and inspiring and helping people. It's just, I know an author. <laughs> How cool is that? So, um, and I just wanted to do a special thank you to Leanne of Small Town Stitches. Hint, hint, that's who my interview is with coming up on this Sunday, uh, the 21st. She is an incredible human being. We didn't really talk a whole lot before the interview, but we clicked and I feel like we have de developed a, a pretty close friendship in that amount of time. Um, we message back and forth almost daily on Instagram and she's just such an awesome person. So keep an eye out for that interview and go show her some love, um, hitting the follow button. She's a OG floss tuber, as you'll learn in the interview. And I actually didn't know that. So that's pretty cool. And she lives in Michigan. I wish we were going to get to see each other, but I'm not sure things are going to work out this trip. But there will be future trips. So thank you so much, Leanne, for just being you and for our friendship it just it means the world to me so um i think that's everything i've been working like crazy on um, model stitching and designing i i like to model stitch the extra special if that makes sense um designs and then i send out a lot of the other designs which are still special but um there's just ones that I want to stitch personally that I will want up in, in my home. And um, I, I'm stitching that like the one I'm going to share a sneak peek with. So I've been busy with that. So I don't really have a whole lot of progress, but I do have three whips. And I can't remember if, I think there may be one or two or a new start. I can't remember um, on there. But the first one is a um, mystery stitch along and it's from is it Manny Dodonna I think now I can't remember because I didn't bring the the box up and there's no chart um, but it is a patriotic stitch along and this is how far I've gotten I'm just using the called for DMC and this is 16 count fabric um, there was not really too many options for the kit or for the box um, but this is the first block and I just have to finish filling in the house. I am not, not a fan of two strand stitching. Um, even though I love my Mill Hill kits, I'm not a fan of the two and three th strand stitching. Um, but this is two strands on the 16 count. And I don't know what this fabric is called because um, I don't believe it came with a, a tag or anything. But it's so cute so far um, for that mystery stitch along. And then, I don't really want to put it down. I decided last night to kind of uh, get started again on my year at Hawk Run Hollow. And there's really not much of a start on February. But that's where I've gotten to. This is on... 20 count, I think. Yeah, 20 count Macchiato from Be Stitch Me. That's what my patriotic sunflower release is on. So just the bird and the tree and some snow. Um, I'm using the, I think it's the Vicki Clayton silks um, for this, the conversion. And so they're beautiful, but man, those silks slide out of the needle. It drives me crazy. So that was that. And then my last whip is a Mill Hill kit. And I know a couple people were looking for this. I got it off of eBay. Um, that's the only place that I found this one. This is called Cabin Fever. And I'm stitching this for my husband for, um, for our, our anniversary, Ooh, or part of the, his anniversary gift. And this is where I'm at. So s'mores, marshmallows, and I'm working on the deer down here. 
Now I want to talk a little bit about this frame because a lot of people ask me about it. Um, it is a magnetic frame. Magnets on the inside. This is the front. That's the back. Um, it is made from a shop in the Ukraine on Etsy called Handmade Everyday Shop. Um, very well put together, thick. The magnets are incredible. It was well worth the wait um, to get it from the Ukraine. I like supporting shops um, like that, especially in the area that they're in. Very much like to give my money to help what I can. And it just pops right in there and it holds it pretty good. So I got this size and then I got a smaller size for the ornaments and I love it. So just a little bit of a, because people keep asking me where I got it from. I like this because it's easy to pop it off and on that way. So just wanted to talk a little bit about that. Speaking of Mill Hill kits, there is a sand dollar Mill Hill kit that I am hunting for. It just went for like $60 on eBay. I did not want to pay $60. Sand dollars have a special meaning um, to us, uh, my family. We find we go sand dollar hunting on the beach. Um, it, it just has a, a history and memories attached to it. So I wanted to stitch that. So if anybody knows where I could find the sand dollar kit, or if you have a sand dollar mill hill kit, I will buy it from you. Um, I am desperately looking for that one. Um, all right. So a little sneak peek. So this is going to be my bigger size design which is an 8 by 10 um, frame and i've been doing a sneak peek of the house so this house is based off of an antique sampler that i own i just kind of shush the colors up well here's your sneak peek oops let's hold it like that there's your sneak peek i'm so excited for this it's it's going to be called vintage love because established in 1998, that's when my husband and I got married. Um, it's just, it's so pretty. And this is on Seraphim hand dyed fabrics. I can't remember the name right now. Why can't I think of the name? Vintage? I think, anyways, I'll, I'll have more details on it uh, when I release it. But I wanted to share a sneak peek with y'all um, on that. So hopefully you like it. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm going to insert a video just after I show you this little bit of haul that I got because I did a video a little while ago showing some of the fabrics and stuff that I got in, but I needed to send them out to model stitchers. So I'll insert that after I show you what I ordered from my friend Chris as the O flies. She Man, there's pollen all over it already. I should have recorded inside. Look at this. She made this. So there's a spot to clip your floss. This is to uh, a needle minder. There's a pouch. There's a pouch in here. There's a pouch in here. And there's her information. And the nice thing is I can fit my Q-snaps in here because um, there's enough, like it closes, and you can still have your Q-snaps in there. So I'm excited. I'm going to take this with me to Michigan. But I also ordered Floss Bling. I ordered this one. Look how gorgeous that is. And then on the back. And she always sends a hoop. Um, but this is to uh, hold your floss. I like it because things don't get tangled uh, like they do with the other floss bling. Very well made, quilted, thick. Love them. I have so many. And she sent me this one as a gift. I've been wanting one. Look at that. With a crow or raven on it. Y'all yeah, have to run and... She does custom ones too. She sent me ones with pictures of my family and it's just so cool. 
So I'm so, so excited to have this and take this with me to Michigan. I love it so much. Um, the other thing, and I didn't ask permission for the person's name, but I was talking with somebody who sent me a picture. They had stitched my uh, Hope release and she had a neat little pin or coin and told me where to get them. So I ordered some Tim Holtz off of Amazon. Hope is, is right there actually. And I have the little uh, clips coming that match these. They just didn't arrive yet. And then I'm gonna put it on there. And there's a little hint right here for my next release in that series this summer. So that'll be coming out as well. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna insert the rest of my haul and goodies video here. Hi everybody. This is the haul portion of my video. Uh, I wanted to do it while the weather was nice and sunny. And so I'm just sitting on the deck and you can see Shadow <laughs> sitting with me. And the reason I wanted to do it uh, now, I'm still waiting on a package to hopefully come today or tomorrow um, because today I think is April 9th. Um, but I wanted to show you the fabric that Colleen from Great Notes Stitchers uh, sent me for designing. Uh, I love Colleen's fabrics. Um, I ordered 18 count Ada. Sorry if you could hear the airplane above. Um, and this is what she sent me. So the first one, and this already has a pattern um, that's gonna go on it, is Joy to the World. My winter themed Bigfoot is gonna go on this. So this is gonna go to Rose for model stitching. The next one is Kelly. And I have a design that's gonna go on this already too. A St. Patrick's themed one. That hopefully I think will be released at market. We'll do that. I am like, I feel like I'm drowning in multitasking. I'm trying to get a trunk show ready, um, some charts to go to the distributor, my new releases for the summer, um, all at the same time while model stitching. And I just had to frog a huge section of the model that I'm stitching because I recharted it. You know, that's how it goes. Um, this is Snickerdoodle. This I really like. Ooh, it smells good too. I like the smell of it. Let's see, this one, <laughs> this one is Bradley. Not sure, well actually I have an idea uh, for this one. And it'll probably be a Nashville market release too if I can get it designed and model stitched. I like to model stitch, uh, I don't know how to describe it. Some of the bigger, I only really do, the, my largest designs are 8x10. Um, but I like to model stitch the ones that have the extra special meaning. And that one, that one will have extra special meaning. Uh, Grace Notes Fabric French Vanilla like a pinky hue to me it looks a little pink or like a peachy pink but it's so pretty so pretty and then the last one she sent me and these are all a surprise I just kind of told her the the color ideas that I had in mind um this is Kenneth this I love oh I love that one I gotta find something good to design for that one. Um, maybe a reproduction, I have. I might have one in mind. Um, so those are the fabrics <coughs> that Colleen sent me. And um, I have a couple things from the Fat Quarter Shop before I show some other things. So I have their, uh, <laughs> excuse me, March Stitch Quarterly that they send me uh, to share with y'all. So this is the pattern, it is adorable. On the back, 
is you get a 20% off Nerds Embroidery Hoop coupon. There's a little mini pouch in here. And then there's the fabric and the needle miter and the floss. I was thinking of keeping this, but I honestly don't know when I'm going to stitch it. And it's a really cute chart. So um, I'm going to do a giveaway for y'all for this. Um, please be 18. Please be a public subscriber of my account. Um, and just say bunny on this. Bunny, if you'd like that. And then the other thing that Fat Quarter Shop had sent me that I um, forgot to show in the last video because I've been so scatterbrained, quilters. If you are watching right now, you are going to be so very happy because all of these are going to be one giveaway. <coughs> Excuse me. Early Bird. Daisy Patch Quilt Pattern. Peppermint Bark. Oh, that's cute. Oh, there's Carl. Poinsettias. Chantilly. Color Me Crayons. This might be something that I could do, but I just, just don't have time. That's cute. And then Honey Crisp and Cross Trainer. So quilters. If you would like these, this bundle of patterns, just say quilt. And so those are going to be the giveaways. I, <laughs> I also have a little sneak for you. I partnered with Lois of Lady Dot Creates for an upcoming summer re release. I absolutely adore Lois. She is now one of my favorite human beings and I love her to death. Um, but I wanted to share a little sneak peek because I'll be offering partial kits of my release in my Etsy shop. And just to give you a little bit of a taste, she packaged them up for me, cut them into one and a half yards. So be on the lookout for my releases because I'll have a limited number of partial kits available, but I'm so excited that uh, Lois was willing to partner with me. <laughs> so, <coughs> man, I can't get rid of this cough to save my life. I gotta, I snagged uh, iced coffee. This is, it's a local little coffee shop that we have. It's super popular. Sometimes the lines are ridiculous. Um, but my new favorite is an Irish cream Breve with a hazelnut soft top. If I go to Dutch Bros, it's the Irish cream kicker uh, with a soft top that they offer. Hands down, my favorite drink. <clears throat> oh, sorry, loud vehicle. Uh, on Saturdays, Darren and I have like a chore day. And so Costco is in the morning. And so before we go to Costco, uh, Darren will take, cause the coffee shop is like right by Costco. Um, he'll wait if there's f four or five cars he'll wait if it's longer than that typically not but usually we get lucky and there's three to four cars um, I'll get a coffee and he gets a hot chocolate because he doesn't drink coffee but it's kind of become like a little routine for us and then we walk around Costco sipping our drinks and just enjoying the time together but I don't that was just <laughs> a tangent sorry <laughs> um, so this bundle of goodness was sent to me um by my amazing friend patsy who also does ancestry research for me for my reproduction samplers uh, i appreciate her so so much for all the help that she gives me but then for her to send me this and i made sure to ask her if it was okay to to say her name um, because they're on the back of my charts anyways. <laughs> um, but I wanted to share with you some. I didn't separate any for giveaways. That's why I did the two Fat Quarter Shop giveaways for now. But I'll, I'll probably end up doing some at another time. But this is so cute and I've not seen it. It's Spring Sheep Alphabet. And it came with a DMC. But isn't that cute? So I probably will stitch that. 
Plumberry Sampler. I also want to stitch that. That's like a cute spring piece. I need more time. Now that I'm designing, I feel bad that I'm not working on as many of my personal projects. Um, here's Lizzie Kate. And, oh, this is cute and a quick stitch. I'll probably stitch this and then do it as a giveaway. Lucky tree. Because next year, I'm definitely... Oh, this is a Hinzite, but I, or Hinzit, I don't know how to say it, but I can't show you. It's the Mini Block America, but it doesn't have the packaging. Um, this is super cute, and it has the acorn button. It's a little Lizzie Kate with a little acorn button. And another little freebie that I can't share, but it's a cute little cabin with a bear. Oh, I think I have this one. I have to go through my charts. I love this one. That'll probably be a giveaway closer to Halloween. I haven't seen this one from Waxy Moon Designs. All guests must be approved by the dog or dogs. How cute is that? <laughs> Shadow definitely has to approve you if you come into my house. Um, built on love. Oh my gosh, I have such loud vehicles in our neighborhood. Um, Diane of Silver Creek Samplers has become a friend of mine and I absolutely adore her and I think that this might be my anniversary start because I love it so that's gonna sit out this is cute happy holidays very simple stitch oh look at the stocking how cute is that Oh, and this I cannot show. It's the fall button tree from, uh, I don't know who, Friends, Z Friends and Stitches. So you get the buttons and the fabric and then the chart. That's cute. I haven't seen a lot of these, Patsy. This is so cool. This is Winifred the Witch with the whole, with the buttons. Winter arches. I saw somebody working on arches, but I can't remember who. I'm sharing all of these with you because I haven't seen a lot of these. Uh, Battle Hymn of the Republic. I want to stitch this from My Big Toe Designs. And now there's a school bus. Welcome to my neighborhood. I know y'all like neighborhood noises. But it's just a lot of cars. Um, this one is the one I really want to stitch. An American Sampler. It's from Shepherd's Bush. I know Shepherd's Bush pictures don't do them justice. Um, but it comes with everything. I don't know if I'll stitch it on linen. <laughs> we'll see. I'm not a big fan of linen. But I want to stitch that. I think that's the main one that she wanted to send me. Oh no, and then this one. This one I'm definitely stitching. Old Glory by Shepherd's Bush. Look at that. And that has some goodies in the back too. And then the last, let us be thankful. Oh, I need to stitch that from Bank Creek. So yeah, I forgot to show these fell out of the package from Fat Quarter Shop. Um, cloth biddies. I'm going to use these and test the magnets because I use um, magnetic cloth keepers from Amazon. They're linked in my link tree. I absolutely love the magnets but these are cute because they have i don't know if you can see there's a heart on them there they go and they're magnets that you can roll up your fabric in so i'm going to try those out and then the last stitchy kindness that i received is from mar um i think she's strange stitches i want to say and uh she saw that i got all those anchor <laughs> all the anchor spools <laughs> and sent me these neat little uh floss tidies so there's uh, there's quite a few in here and they're little floss tidies and she says just wrap your floss around the tiny bobbin and tuck the end in the slit which is at the top there and then put the peg in the top hole of your spool Oh, that's cool. So they just sit on. 
that's brilliant. That's kind of cool. So I got to try those out um, when I when I get to organizing the anchor floss. Oh my gosh, it's a nightmare. A nightmare. I haven't even touched it because I'm doing 50 other projects. So that is my haul and stitchy kindness for now. Like I said, I'm waiting for a package from I ordered from my friend Chris as the Yo Flies on Etsy uh, because I could not resist the I can't remember what she calls it, but it's like a, a stitchy portfolio type of thing and another floss bling. So it was supposed to be here yesterday and now it says that it is in Utah or Idaho. I can't remember. So who knows when it'll get here, but this video isn't going to go up till probably next week anyways. So um, I'll just keep adding on to it, but I wanted to do it while the weather was nice and uh, so then I could put all this stuff away and send some of the fabrics to my model stitchers. I'm a little behind on that, so I gotta get going on that. All right, back to printing charts and bagging charts and all that other stuff until I do another video. Okay. Now, uh, that's it for the stitching. I'm gonna share with you my spring decor display um, and I hope you enjoy that. I will try and tell you the names of the designers as I go. I'm not very good at remembering if they're years old, but I shall try. So I hope you enjoy that. Okay, so here's my spring decor. It's just right by the front door. <laughs> so let's start here. I saved this piece from Goodwill and then finished it on a board that I found at Target. So I don't know who the designer of that is. And then I have some Ray Dunn down here. Bloom, that is Cherry Hill Stitchery. One of my favorite designers. Love, love her designs. So there's that area. And then a little bit more Ray Dunn, some bunnies. And then my gnome. That's all Ray Dunn. I miss Ray Dunn hunting. Our stores don't really carry it anymore. Some more bunny stuff. And then Bloom, card from my father-in-law, my Bigfoot in Spring design, and then this I think is Poutini Poutini, I think. This was a freebie that I cannot remember who the designer is. And then this one. Um, the name is on the tip of my tongue. Um, it's another freebie, I believe. Um, and then this is my design, Spring at Autumn Hills Place. And then this is Hello Spring. I think this is the Housewives piece. This one is a Blackbird Designs piece, I believe. This is a With Thy Needle and Thread, Hello Spring, or no, Plum Street Samplers? Maybe that's Plum Street. I am so terrible. And I don't remember this one either, but it's super cute. Uh, Stitching with the Housewives, they finished into a hop sign. And then I just have a spring sign over here. And then up on top, that's a Lizzie Kate, my secret garden. And that's a waxing moon design spring stack. There's the with thy needle and thread. And so that's basically, that is my spring decor. Sorry, I couldn't remember a few of the designers. Okay, and that is it for the stitchy stuff. I am going to do a life recap. So if you're not interested in hearing about my <laughs> whirlwind of a life, um, I'm going to talk about our three adventures we've been on since, uh, since my last video. And one of them, I could have been real bad. <laughs> yeah. 
But if you're not interested in hearing about the life, thank you so much for spending time with me. I truly appreciate it. Um, and until I record again, happy stitching. All right, so I, I did a little life recap synopsis because my memory is just absolutely horrible. Oh, you can hear all the birds chirping. It's such a beautiful day. I love my backyard. <laughs> it's just so, it's, I love it so much. And we actually put up right over here. Oh my goodness, it's already gone. I think it fell. We buy like this little bell shaped seed thing for the birds and the squirrels come and they chew it down. But we do it so that Mal, my grandkitty, can watch them and he sits there and he hunts. But I just looked over and it is gone. It must have fallen. We'll have to come up with an alternative. We also bought like a wooden picnic table that hangs up there for birds too that we fill up. But anyways, squirrel or bird in this case. Shadow's just laying in front of me, just kind of like looking all around at him. Are you looking at all the birdies? Yeah. You can come here. All right, so life recap. You can come here, baby. Come on. There she is. She's looking at, oh, you're just blocking the view. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. You're looking at all the birdies. Okay, so a um, little bit of life recap. Okay, get down. Good girl. I'll pet you. Is So we've gone on three adventures since the last video. Uh, you probably saw all of the opening photos um, from all the adventures. The first one was Easter. I hope you all had an incredible uh, Easter Sunday. We, with our girls being older and Sam is in Canada, um, Brie got her Easter basket and I hid one egg with some money in it. She's 19, so we don't do egg hunts anymore. So Darren and I went on an adventure that day. Um, and we hiked about 2.9 miles in, it wasn't even a rough hike really, um, to a waterfall. And the waterfall was just gorgeous. That's was the first, probably the first waterfall you saw um, in the beginning. And um, we spent a little bit of time there. My, we had, he had bought me new wool socks and so they were rubbing on one of my heels. And so when we got to the waterfall, he, he doctored me up with some wool skin and and wrapped tape so the tape was really tight and it was hard for me to move my ankle a little bit and I was hoping it would loosen up and shortly after we embarked back on the 2.9 mile hike back I fell off of the trail and then rolled 10 feet down the embankment and luckily a downed tree log stopped me from continuing to roll down to the rocks and river below. Um, I was pretty banged up. Um, my hip and my left knee hurt. They got, they had bruises and scrapes, um, but nothing, you know, that I needed to have life flight or anything called for. Uh, but it was really scary. Um, just, just to be rolling and, and not knowing where you're going to land. <laughs> Um, but Darren jumped into action, flew down, you know, grabbed me, helped me up. And, uh, I was shaken up, but I continued to walk back and, um, I didn't even know at the time that another couple had seen me fall, but we had stopped for a little break <laughs> and the, the couple was going to pass us. And they stopped and they asked if I was okay. And I was like, yeah, you know, I just, I, I took a fall. And they're like, oh yeah, we saw. And I was like, oh, I was mortified, mortified. And I'm socially awkward. So I was like, oh, I hope it was a graceful fall. And the, the man without skipping a beat, he's like, yeah, I was gonna clap, but then I thought it would be kind of rude. And then we laughed and then they just kept on going. And so it was a really neat interaction, but I was mortified. But I did hike the 2.9 miles out. Um, it, I was a lot slower. I was limping, but I did it. So that was that was fun and scary all at the same time. Um, shortly after I had fallen, uh, there was a rock in the shape of a foot in the middle of the trail with another little like pretty shiny rock next to it. It was not there on the way to the waterfall. And um, 
uh, you're probably seeing the picture of it now because I forgot to bring it out here. Um, it looks like the shape of a Bigfoot, like Bigfoot's foot. So my story is Bigfoot was watching us from the woods. He saw me fall. He saw how scared I was and how tough I was hiking back that uh, he decided to leave me a gift. It was the coolest thing ever. Um, I don't know how else it got there because there were not very many people on the trail and it really looked like a Bigfoot. So I have it and it's like, it's the coolest thing. I don't know. Um, then we had a stitchy meetup that following Tuesday and we had some new friends join us and that was always a great time. I had to miss the one uh, last night because I laid in bed all day yesterday because I'd been sick for a couple of days and I needed to recover because I can't bring sickness to Michigan and I'll explain why in a minute. Um, the following Sunday after our waterfall hike, uh, Darren hiked up to Lena Lake and um, I opted to stay in the Jeep because I wasn't ready for a crazy hike and I just enjoyed sitting in peace and quiet and stitching and while I was sitting there, a Stellar's J came and just hung out next to the Jeep, got some pictures, and then I got an amazing video of him uh, going up the, the tree. Um, it was such a cool experience. And that is like my new thing. I love adventures, but I just want Darren to go on his hike so that I could sit and just enjoy peace and quiet and stitch. Yeah. Hey, everybody. I am currently sitting in my Jeep um, while my husband goes and hikes up to Lena Lake here in Washington. Um, my last ordeal with hiking when I fell 10 feet down the cliff um, kind of shook me up so I'm not ready to hike just yet. So I'm sitting here stitching while frogging at the moment uh, in nature as you can see from my window. <laughs> and I just realized something. I am left-handed, so I stitch left-handed. So when I two-handed stitch, my left hand is underneath guiding my needle into the hole and then I'm pulling through with my right hand. But when I'm frogging, as you can see here, um, I frog with my right hand. And that just totally threw me off. <laughs> so I thought I would share that because I didn't even think about it till I was just sitting here in the quiet because we don't have reception. And um, frogging. And once I'm done with this, I'm going to release the frog into nature so that y'all don't have to deal with the frog for a little while. He'll be lost out here at Lena Lake somewhere, so. Anyways, I'm going to get back to frogging. Um, just a little bit left. Just a few words. This is my design. And I'm the model stitcher. And uh, I stitched things when I was sick. And I shouldn't have because the spacing was all wrong. So I had to frog a whole bunch. Fix the chart. And then re-stitch it. <laughs> Welcome to the world of cross-stitch designing and model stitching, everybody. So much fun. You have no reception where we go and you have um, just complete silence. So that was incredible um, to be able to, to do that. And then, um, let's see. Oh, and then here's some news before we went on the other adventure. So my older daughter and her husband who live in Canada were walking back to their um, apartment and they heard some noise in the dumpster outside their apartment complex. And they found a little orange kitten tied up in a trash bag. Ah. So immediately my daughter jumped into action and they drove the kitty to a vet because he was not looking so well. And he was there for quite some time. They were nursing him back to health. Um, they they thought that he wasn't going to be able to make it it was touch and go for a little while but he's a little fighter 
and he is now my grand kitty. <laughs> so now they have three kitties. Um, and they named him Ari, which is Hebrew for Lion of God. And uh, I cannot wait to meet him. We're going to be going to visit them in July um, for their first anniversary. And our 26th anniversary is at the end of June. And so Darren's going to take me to Glacier National Park um, on that trip as well. So I'm excited to see my daughter and see where she lives, but also to see my grandkitties. So, um, yeah, so now she has three and she's rescued them all and they all have a traumatizing past and they're just thriving uh they're buddies now and they're just living their best life so i'm glad that that they found him because just the suffering that that poor little boy uh, had gone through it's heartbreaking um, and then our most recent adventure was to Mount Zion uh, Darren hiked that I've already hiked it I did not want to hike it again it's just pure up a mountain no thank you mm -mm. so I chilled in the Jeep again um, and just enjoyed peace and quiet and stitching and um, on the way back yeah on the way back from Mount Zion um, before we were, as we were heading down the mountain, uh, a deer just decided to slowly strut itself across the road in front of us, stop, turn, stare at us. And as Darren started to inch forward, it was like, uh-uh, you ain't going, and decided to strut slowly back the way that it came. It's like a deer with attitude. <laughs> but it was just the coolest thing to, to have a deer just like walk in front of us like it didn't care, so... So those are our, were our adventures. Um, and the next week our adventure is gonna be Michigan. So I'm gonna try and do videos and photos of the cross-stitch shops and, um, oh, there's the bus. Um, and we're going to take my uh, grandpa's barn model to the place where Darren's grandpa's barn used to be. Um, so we can get some pictures and stuff of it there. Um, and then the trunk show will be shipped up to Artie, the vintage stitcher, for her retreat May 2nd through the 5th up in Iron Mountain. Um, so she'll have a, the small trunk show there. So be pretty exciting. I appreciate her hosting the trunk show. It was really nice of her to ask. Um, and other than that, um, I've been sick for a couple of days. I am <laughs> starting to feel a little bit better. But the reason I can't take the sickness and the reason that I skipped last night's meetup and um, the exposure to other people and from other people was because my brother-in-law uh, recently found out he has stage four cancer. So he has been undergoing chemo and then his next round, he's not been tolerating it very well. Um, and his next round actually starts on the 22nd when we're there. So it's gonna be a rough week for him. So it'll be just a lot of hanging out with family um, and spending time with him. Um, so uh, hopefully his body, like the like the treatment uh, affects the cancer. Uh, he's not able to hold down very much food. He's lost a lot of weight, um, but we're hoping for the best. So the timing of our trip um, couldn't have been better. We didn't even know when we planned this trip and booked the flight or anything that he even had cancer. It all came on so quickly. Um, so, yeah, so we'll be spending time with him that week. And then my daughter, Samantha, uh, her 25th birthday is the 25th of April. So we'll be celebrating her golden birthday with her in Michigan. Um, and then they're going to drive home Friday and Darren and I are going to drive up to Boyne Mountain um, where we have a little weekend getaway booked. And I will see Kim, my stitchy friend, who has been so kind and she sends me boxes of goodies all the time. Um, she moved up to that area, literally close to the resort we're gonna be at. So I'm gonna go spend some time with her and um, see her sewing room and all that kind of stuff. So I'm excited for that. And then we will drive back down to Midland Monday morning, probably. Sunday evening, Monday morning. Um, and then we fly out Tuesday to come back home. So yeah, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. My next video will probably be a Michigan recap and possibly my new releases for the summer. 
we'll see but so thank you all so much for sticking with me if you stayed for my life update I, it means a lot that there are so many of you that that care what's going on in my life and i love that i can be open and honest with everybody and um just share what's going on so i hope that this video wasn't too much of a jumbled mess <laughs> and that you enjoyed it and it and it kept you entertained uh, keep an eye out for the interview with leanne on sunday and please make sure that you hit that subscribe button um, and that bell so that you can keep up with me because <laughs> who knows when I'm going to post again. I'm sorry for the inconsistencies uh, now, but life is just crazy. So, yeah. All right. Until I see you all again, stay healthy and happy, safe, and most of all, happy stitching. Love y'all.